Hello, my name is Chloe. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing to you weekly reading vlog number 86. This one will definitely have next to no reading, just whatever I end up reading on my phone before I fall asleep, because this is one of the two weeks of college um, before I start my exams. Today is actually Tuesday. I was just so out of it yesterday. Um, we had a mock exam at 9.30 till 12. Did some question practice, came home, ate pasta, watched the entirety of Love on the Spectrum US and fell asleep. So yeah, productive day. Um, today we have my first Too Good To Go bag of the week and presentation for this one. We love it. So let's find out together what we're eating. If you are new to my channel, hello, hi. Um, I have this thing where I seem to go away for work and only survive on Too Good To Go orders. Too Good To Go is an app you can get where uh, not sponsored at all wish i was hello too good to go um <laughs> where you pay a reduced fee and then you get basically the stuff that isn't going to sell today and they're going to throw in the bin so yeah this was three pound from a independent potentially coffee shop and what are we having for dinner oh <gasps> yes chicken caesar salad this was all i was hoping in there because i got it last time so that is my dinner i'm gonna start that shortly okay we have four things BLT, lunch tomorrow, sorted. Tomorrow's breakfast, we have mango, yogurt, and granola. Perfect. And a pastry. It's a cute little cake. Look at that. Okay, this is the best Too Good To Go bag I've ever had. I'm very happy. So, a plan for the evening is to do lots of studying. Um, so we've had a whole day, I say whole day, from nine to four today, doing practice questions, and then they set practice questions for you to do at home. So I guess I'm gonna get started on those, fix up any notes that I need to, and yeah, I'll do that. It's now 4.30, so I'll start on that now, have a mini break for dinner, and stop at 9 p.m. So hopefully get like four hours in this evening. We'll see. try and make this angle work i just got a too good to go bag from gourmet burger kitchen so we're gonna see what i got <laughs> first bag oh it's some fries we like fries next bag onion rings more onion rings <laughs> some different little dips oh chicken nice Hello, hi. It is now Thursday at half five. Um, I'm a little bit greasy, but I had a cool hairstyle today. Either way, I had the worst day so far. Um, it got to like midday and something really stupid tipped me over the edge. And that was the fact that work sent everybody a packet of donuts from donut time um, as a thank you for all their hard work. What they failed to check was whether people, i.e. me, are away from home because of work. So I will not be getting any donuts. My dad will be getting donuts when he picks them up from my flat. But um, yeah, I just thought it was really stupid. And on top of all the stress that happened, um, I got told to like calm down, which is always not gonna calm me down. Um, I just broke 
so we were doing the last question of the day and I cried the whole way through it I didn't even attempt it and I just couldn't face the idea of coming back to a shared apartment I just wanted to be by myself and like have my own feelings you know and, and not have to talk um so I'm finding it really hard to be in shared spaces um when I raised that on previous occasions to work as some of you will know um they don't they don't really um care about that uh whether you're comfortable or uncomfortable with the situation and I probably shouldn't put any negative comments out about work but I feel like that's something I've raised in internal feedback which has been ignored so I just really dislike it and it makes me feel very uncomfortable um so particularly when I'm supposed to be coming back and doing quite intensive work like I anyway so I took some time out from when we got back to just chill by myself and I went shopping and I went to the works because I thought I had some points that I had to use and it was going to turn to cash I don't really know what happened it didn't work out in the end so I spent £7.50 but that's not exactly the end of the world because one thing I got was Book Lovers by Emily Henry this was £5 which for a new release feels really really good I have not read Beach Read I have not read You and Me on Vacation but I have them both uh, so for £5 I was thinking it was going to go down to about two with these points I apparently had but £5 is not exactly an issue so I got this one boring purchase I also got some a5 document wallets um i really i needed one uh, to just put journaling stuff in when i go see cole but we have five now um and i got a pack of sticky notes because i needed some for my studying so i thought i'd just get a cheap packet and these i was already in the works i was running out of time when i probably should have come back so it's just oh it comes in a little wallet it's a little wallet for uh, sticky notes so great um, and I also went to Primark. I still don't know how much I spent. I just tapped my card and walked out because there were things I wanted. First of all, this hoodie. This is actually £7, but it says breathe deeply and embrace your emotions. And I really liked it. So yeah, I didn't need this. I just, I just really wanted it. Um, it doesn't even have drawstrings, which is a good thing actually. Um, but yeah, I liked it. I also got just some face wipes because I didn't bring any and I don't know oh they were only a pound uh cool as a cucumber cucumber facial cleansing wipes uh, especially with all my crying today I just needed to you know uh speaking of the impact of all the crying I did get a face mask too but I've lost it ah there it is I got a face mask for ATP uh cleanse and smooth red algae sheet mask so I'm gonna be doing that tonight because I just my skin hurts I don't even know if that makes any sense to people I then got my outfit for the plane so I'm gonna see Cole in like three weeks which is mad um but every time I've gone before it's been freezing cold and I've had to really wrap up and this time I'm gonna be getting there in summer so I bought some long not quite leggings not quite shorts these were £2.50 so I'm sure they'll be fine and then a big top so hopefully it can be some breeze but might also be comfy uh it says Hon honoluhu however you say it beach hawaii um it's just got all this on the back so i thought that'd be comfy on the plane i can put it with a big hoodie you know i just i'm just not okay today um i don't like saying that because i just feel like I'm always saying I'm not okay and then people tell me like you're fine don't worry about it when I really don't feel like I am um I'm gonna be really glad when these exams are done but right now I don't feel ready to take them and that is stressing me out but anyway lots of work to do tonight so time to get started <laughs> It's Friday, I have finished my week of taught tuition, I guess you could call it. Um, I did a mock exam this afternoon and I'm giving myself the night completely off. 
So, saying that I kind of want to do one question later, but I might just watch a film, we'll see. I'm going to do something I've never ever done before and that is going out and taking myself out for dinner. So I have never sat in a restaurant by myself, ever. Um, I find it quite a horrible idea actually. Um, I've always gone up and picked up food, like gone and picked up food, but not actually eaten anywhere myself. So we're going to Yo Sushi. I also have no idea how Yo Sushi actually works, so that'll be fun. Ignore the mess behind me, but I think we look pretty adorable. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna go get some sushi. I wasn't actually that impressed by Yo Sushi. Um, I mean, it's cool. The conveyor is cool. But I spent £16 and I got a glass of Coke, a small bowl of noodles and three California roll thingies. I mean, fine. For some reason, I thought you would be able to get the stuff at the takeaway prices and it'd be like the same size and that was my treat. But... Mm, it was the same price, there was less of it. Anyway, I'm home now. I say home, I'm back at this flat. I've got a glass of wine. I have four chocolate chip muffins. I'm trying to watch Netflix on the TV and it doesn't work. So we're gonna leave that. So I'm gonna get in bed with my laptop and watch Netflix, but, oh. Hello, hello. It is 4.20. Oh God, as if that was even funny. On Saturday and I swear I tried to study all day and I just don't know where the time's gone. So we're gonna have to get back on that very shortly. But I'm doing a live event at six just for a couple hours. So maybe I need to not push myself, I don't know. I wanna get more, one more question done before then. But I didn't wanna cook dinner, so what did I get? A too good to go back, of course. We have another chicken Caesar salad, which I'm gonna eat now. And then two things in here. He literally just grabbed them off the shelves when I went in and I was like, if I had, he asked me what the date was. You should have told him another date. Um, we have a sausage roll and an egg and cress roll. Well, I'm gonna have, I kind of want the egg and cress roll. Is that weird? Yeah, I'll have an egg and cress. Look at that, weird. So I've been studying and watching Ali's um, reading sprints. Well, yeah, watching reading sprints, but studying. So now my plan, I should say, it's Sunday at four. Um, I'm gonna head to Waterstones to treat myself for getting through this week. Um, <laughs> who knows whether it'll be worth treating myself after everything, I don't know, don't wanna think about it. But I'm gonna treat myself for getting through this week um, and I'm gonna pick up some noodles which I'm hoping are nice. I'm hoping it's open. It wasn't open last time, but I wanna grab some noodles. And um, I should say I had an amazing time last night. I was gonna do a chatty hour with my patrons um, to just catch up on life. And I was talking for three entire hours. And then I did another hour and a half on the phone to Katie and Danny. So really I was essentially live for like five hours and it was amazing. It was a good break. So I think I'm gonna do it again next week. Who knows? Um, I have all my rubbish here. <sighs> I don't know why I'm such a princess, but um, yeah, I asked them if they could empty the bins because we haven't seen a person, like nothing's been done in here. Um, and I have asked again on Twitter, like, what do you guys think when you hear service department? Um, but yeah, nobody has been to do anything. So um, I text them and ask them if they could come and take our rubbish. Uh, they asked me to confirm which room I was in and I haven't seen anyone. So I'm hoping it does actually get done um, because we have a lot of rubbish. Anyway, I'm going shopping.
I was potentially gonna treat myself to one book and then get some noodles. Uh, the noodle place, even though it doesn't close till five, she like shimmied me out of the way about quarter past four. So never mind, didn't want noodles anyway, won't be going back. Um, I got a Subway, so I have my favorite sub, which is turkey and ham, if anyone is interested. But I bought six books, one of which I couldn't leave is uh, Velvet Was The Night by Sylvia Moreno-Garcia. I haven't heard amazing things about this, but it was half price and it's a hardback and it's signed. So I know nothing about this. I still haven't read Mexican Gothic, but we're going for it. Then I wanted to take advantage of the buy one get one half price that Waterstones does. So the first thing I got is Three Sisters by Heather Morris. This is the third book in the Tattooist of Auschwitz kind of series. Um, this follows um, Sibby, Magda and Livia. Uh, they have been briefly mentioned in the other books. This one is a little bit smaller but I think there's actually just less printed on each page. It's probably about the same length and it's a thinner paperback. You'll know what I mean if you've read the other books. Um, but yes, yeah, so this was buy one get one half price. The other one I got on that deal is that's uh, that's left in the all oh, that's left in the world. Sorry, by Eric J. Brown. I have seen this doing the rounds, but haven't heard anything about it. And every time I see it, I consider getting it. It's very floppy. So this is about Jamie and Andrew, um, are strangers and two of the last people left alive. After a, ca after a catastrophic event wipes out most of the population, Jamie finds himself alone in a cabin in the woods. He's learned to fear other desperate survivors, but when he meets the injured Andrew, Jamie is compelled to help. As they step out into the strange new world together, their friendship begins to feel like something more. It seems very sweet. So yeah, those were on a deal. The only one I bought full price actually is The Fine Print by Lauren Asher and I have been seeing this around and it was on the TikTok table so I hate myself for it but I've seen it around. Um, this is about Rowan and Zara. Rowan is in the business of creating fairy tales, production companies, five star hotels, theme parks, everything could be mine if I renovate Dreamland. Hiring Zara was a great plan until I fell for her and then uh, it says Zara after submitting a drunk proposal criticising Dreamland's most expensive ride, I should have been fired. Instead, Rowan Kane offered me a dream job. The catch? I had to work for the most difficult boss I'd ever met. Rowan was rude and completely off limits, but my heart didn't care. And I feel like this is going to be smart galore. So we have that one. Then I popped into Poundland for a drink because it was next to Subway. And it was cheaper for me to get a drink from Poundland than pay to make my sub a meal. Because I am cheap. And I quickly thought I'd look at the books. So I've got both of these for a pound each. Uh, this one is Looking for Fireworks by Holly Cavendish. And I've never heard of this, but I was really drawn to it. It says, when her father becomes ill, single girl Lainey Barwell moves to the Cotswolds to look after him. And the Cotswolds aren't that far from me. Uh, she's been looking for fireworks in her love life ever since she broke up with her predictable ex-boyfriend Giles, but she has no thoughts of kindling the spark she's looking for here. If she can't find love in a big city like London, with all its internet dating, singles nights and socials, how can she ever hope to meet the man of her dreams in the tiny, tiny village of St. Pon Pontian? But there are two prospects when she gets there. Martin, who could always be depended on for a kind word of advice, or Toby, who is distant that sets her heart ablaze. So yeah, for a pound, couldn't leave it. And the other one, I'm still, I don't know why I did this, but it was a pound and I've seen it around. And that's Love After Love by Ingrid Persaud. Um, A beautiful book, I adored it. It's the Costa Book Awards winner of 2020. It says, impressible, impressible? Impressible Betty Ramden, her shy son Solo and their marvellous lodger Mr Cheaton form an unconventional household. Happy in their differences, they build a home together. Home, the place keeping these three safe from an increasingly dangerous world until the night when a glass of rum, a heart to heart and a truly terrible truth explodes the family unit driving them apart. I've seen it around. It was a pound guys, a pound. Can you blame me? So all of this was like 32 quid. So I do not hate myself too much, apart from the fact I'm gonna have to carry these home on Friday. Th that's Friday's worry. So yeah, also got a sub, some Cokes, um, probably need to study more, but I'm actually gonna just eat a sub, finish the question I was doing, then maybe just what, I wanna watch a scary film. I've just realized I'm wobbling. I wanna watch a scary film, so I bought some popcorn. And that sounds like my plan for the night. <laughs> it's nearly 5 p.m., like I should just give up studying, but I also don't wanna give up. But the earlier I give up before exams, the better it is. I also really need to edit the vlog this evening. So 
we will see. Hello, hello, it is Monday, it is quarter past five, and I don't have much nice to say, so I probably won't say anything at all. Um, but I need to come in and wrap up this vlog, I need to get it edited, get it scheduled, and crack on with studying. But I will get more into that in my next vlog. So this one is the end of week one of study, and I am shattered. But what I did last night, I actually don't think I've read like anything in this week. Maybe I finished the vampire book in this vlog, I, I don't know, maybe. And I started reading Sex Life by somebody. That'll be on the screen. Wish I wouldn't have said that'll be on the screen because this will now take me longer to edit. Anyway, last night I just had enough and I got in bed. I didn't really do too much studying, but I got in bed. I watched The Wrong Turn, the 2021 remake. I think it was 2021. There was one from about 2005. It was supposedly a horror. Uh, it was very weird, very weird. Basically nothing happened. And then there were some really, really gruesome parts. So yeah, I'm not really sure, but I mentioned that because if you have watched the vlog to this point, please leave me a popcorn or movie related emoji um, to let me know you got this far into the vlog. It is really perking me up. I will see those emojis on the second day of a horrific, what is gonna be a horrific week. So you are really gonna perk me up, really make my mood better. So please, please, please do leave me the emojis if you got to this point in the video. Um, saying that, I really have things to do this evening. So that's all I have time for. Thank you very, very much for watching this vlog. I really do hope you enjoyed and I will see you in next week's. Bye.